D here. I want to tell you about what I do for Wi-Fi in my truck. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about Wi-Fi and different solutions and how I set it up. So this is what I started out with. A little mobile hotspot. And it did the job. It did pretty good. So I got this mobile hotspot and what we did was we got it through like uh, I want to say we got it from some it was cricket I think and it, it ran pretty good you know it ran pretty good for what we paid for it we took a SD card out of a cricket phone and stuck it in here because it had unlimited data so we ran with that for quite some time and you know it did the job but then I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pay the money and upgrade it because I'm playing a lot of video games and I'm streaming a lot of TV shows. I'm watching a lot of mo movies in the truck. And whenever the truck's moving and we were team driving, my teammates driving and this thing's going to cut out on me. So like I'll be in the middle of a game and I'll just lag out. It was good while it lasted. It's from AT&T, a little bitty hotspot that you take with you. So it worked for a while, but then I upgraded to the Netgear Nighthawk. This thing's a beast, like it's really good. So the Netgear Nighthawk, it's a, it's a router. It's a hotspot router, so it has a really big battery in it. I'll pop this thing on open. We'll talk about the battery first. Back plate has this massive battery inside real big battery and it works for a long time just on the battery it works on a long time now what I do on the truck what I do on the truck is I plug this thing in because I don't need the battery I take the battery completely out of it and I plug it in because I, I really don't want a, it to run out of battery while I'm playing games. I'm not paying attention to it. I'm, I'm using it. Or maybe I'm watching my Netflix. I'm over there just watching my Netflix. And I'm not paying attention to the battery life. You know, so I'm just doing my thing. So I like to plug it in. And I use a lot, a lot of data when I'm over the road. So, like, I'm in, I'm telling my students, I'm all like, all right, so your test is coming up jump out do you some pre-trip and go ahead and start start studying that pre-trip do it over and over and over while the whole time i'm over here just gaming i'm just playing the xbox another great feature of this hotspot right here is that it has two different channels it has the the 5g channel and it's a it's a signal the uh, five gigahertz it's a signal of the wi-fi that certain devices can read better and then it has the 2.4 one. And usually I let my students use the 2.4 one. I'm on the 5 one because my Xbox plays better off of it. Then one of the great features about this is that down here on the bottom, it has an Ethernet port. So I can put an Ethernet port cord right here in this port right here. Put it in this port. And I run it straight to my Xbox. So I am hardwired. I'm on a wireless device, but I'm hardwired to my Xbox. And it works out great. Down here also, there's a USB port. And then there's a micro C port for charging it, leaving it plugged in. Uh, we put... I had a student with a laptop. He had a laptop, his phone. So... I was trying to over route, overpower this thing, see how much I could really get out of it before it made me lag on my games. So he had his laptop, he had his tablet, I had mine, I had my Xbox on, I had my smart TV hooked up, I had my Fire Stick on there, I had my Xbox running, playing games, and like everything we were, could find, we were running. I ran my phone, he ran his phone. Like we were trying to over overload this thing and it really held up in the truck. Now, I've dropped signal one time with it, one major time. And um, 
I was at a truck stop and there wasn't no signal for nothing. Like it was a truck stop out in the middle of nowhere and there you could buy their Wi-Fi, but their Wi-Fi didn't even work because the tower got knocked down during a bad storm or something they told me. But that was the only place I ever had problems with it. And what I did is I moved my truck to the other side of the truck stop just to see if I could get better signal. It had signal, but it wasn't the best. So I moved to the other side and it got way better. So I was able to just use uh, some of my drive time to move it. And I moved the truck over there. Or actually, I used PC. I moved the truck over there and I got great signal. So it it was it's amazing uh whenever i bought this thing from bet i bought it from best buy now i think it's down to 199 or so 200 dollars i think the newer version has just came out it is the nighthawk the nighthawk 5g pro and in the video in the videos i watched and stuff it can do up to 32 devices they're saying now on a truck that's overkill i'm fine with this right here i am completely fine with this and i know a lot of people's ask me hey uh how do you get your unlimited package through at&t hey at&t no longer has the unlimited package i got i pay forty dollars forty dollars a month for this unlimited data and i'm grandfathered in i've been on the AT&T for a long time. When this first came out, they had the unlimited package and I jumped on it. There's a lot of people that you replaced their house internet for this right here. So they, people have put their whole houses on this. People in other countries use this for their whole house. You know, it works great. I have no complaints about it. And I love the I love the Ethernet port. You can just hook it straight up to your laptop, get your gaming on, get your movies on. I've never had a problem with it not downloading stuff. It's always been pretty quick. Whenever I got it in the store, we opened this thing up in the store and we connected to it. Me and my buddy Matt, we connected to it and we ran a speed test on the store and it was it was really high. It was over 200. Um, uh, what's it called? The first number was over 200 and then the second number was um i want to say like 25 or something like that anyways it, it was blazing fast he's more of a computer guy than i am so he was all like wow that's fast i said bro no way i said that's that's not the nighthawk that's not what i just bought it can't be we're on the store's wi-fi let's make sure so we made sure we were on it so then we drove over to the terminal and we're all like let's check it out boom turn it on lightning speed lightning speed on it still uh, you know i don't have no complaints this thing is awesome this is how we get our wi-fi on our trucks and this is how we get data on the trucks and this is how we game this is how we watch tv during those long breaks a lot of us were streaming the netflix the hulu you know that's what we're doing and this right here is how we do it so if you're an online gamer and you're coming out here to drive trucks or you're an online gamer and you're like man i can't do my twitch on my truck because i'm not gonna have internet this is your problem solver right here um verizon has one too i can't remember the name of it but they have one too i heard that it's pretty good i've not found one review that said that it was better than this and unfortunately last i heard that even if you bought one of these that was unlocked or you unlocked it to use it on verizon or another different carrier i heard that it's not working as good as this one this picks up the 5g signal and i don't know why on my phone if i pick up 5g signal my phone does not like that 5g this thing in 5g it's blazing fast it was getting the first number on the speed test was it was like 400 and something and like that was real fast the ping the ping's really good on it so like whenever i was playing call of duty i had no lag whatsoever i had to relearn how to play call of duty on the truck because what i used to do is get mad or try to shoot in front of somebody because i knew i was lagging this i had to put those arrows right on the guy 
whenever I pull the trigger. So like, I highly recommend this for your data and your Wi-Fi on the truck. Even if you're just streaming a lot of movies and stuff like that, like I can watch movies. I don't have to sit there and watch it buffer. Like I, I don't have to wait for that. I just press play, watch the whole movie. No problems, no little scrolling thing spinning around because my Netflix is on my Xbox. So I'm running my Xbox and my Netflix at the same time and I still got my phone on. So and right now I'm not sleeping in the truck as much so I'm not getting the full potential of what I have here but I'm not gonna cancel the payment of the $40 a month and my unlimited because I might not get it back. Right now there's no unlimited plan. My older video that I made there was still an unlimited plan but there's no longer an unlimited plan i'm sorry but i don't even know what the plan is right now that they offer with this but like i said the new one's out the pro and it's um 500 it's about 500 dollars if you if you're looking to spend the extra money get that please leave me some comments and tell me how that one is if you do get it because i think that that would be I think it would be pretty cool. I'm always wanting the newest of technology. I just haven't had a real use for it or justification for buying it right now. I'm still sitting here with my mine that works just the same. You know, I, I don't really need the extra 32 devices hooked to it. But this is what we do out there over the road for internet for data for you know your hotspot this is what we're doing is we're using devices like these this one works just fine don't get me wrong this one works just fine if you're not going to be an online gamer if you're not gaming a lot if you're not running your computer a lot if you're just watching some tv on it streaming some uh, netflix and stuff you're just fine with this you don't even have to get this but if you're like me and you're online gaming, maybe you making these YouTube videos, this is what you want. This right here. And it's it's taking a beating. I don't know if y'all can see the screen, but it's kind of like, it's got some scrapes on it where it's taking beatings in the truck. I'm not nice to it at all. And the battery, the battery is real good. I just charged it today. And I left it on all day and it's been off the charger and it is still charged right now. It's not touch screen. It has a screen on there, but it is not touch screen. It has one button on the top up here and that'll scroll through the devices, the screens. One screens, the AT&T tells you how many devices you have connected, how much gigabytes you used, uh, how many days left you have on your plan. The next screen, I'm going to cover up my password. I don't even know if you can see it, but I'm going to cover it up. You know, that's the TWZD. Y'all see that I'm around. So that's that channel. That's the one I use for my students. And then I got the Twisted 5G. Twisted 5G. That one's mine. And that's all the screens there are. So it it's awesome. I mean, I'm, I'm using tons of data on it. But if you like the video then go ahead and hit that like button and give me uh, give me the thumbs up leave me comments if you have something else that you're doing inside your truck or that for wi-fi and data that's working out better than this i would really like to know because right now that i cannot find nothing that can beat this but like i said hit the like buttons comment subscribe Check out my description if you're thinking about coming, you online gamers, if you're thinking about coming out here to drive a truck, and that's what's holding you back is being able to play your games, there's your solution. Come on out here. Get that. Let's let's play some games. But leave me some comments in the in the down there and check out the description. And if y'all need anything, my number's at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to add me down as your referral on your application. That's C-O-X-D-J-O. C-O-X-D-J-O. Also, if you need to get a hold of me, drop me a text or call me at 417-894-8888.
8089.